by now we have had various videos and blog posts covering PyAutoCAD, which is a module in Python for implementing AutoCAD optimization. We demonstrated PyAutoCAD roughly in an introductory example, we then showed how you can create polylines and how you can create arcs using PyAutoCAD. And in this uh, video, I'm going over another blog post as part of a documentation on PyAutoCAD demonstrating how you can create ellipses and ellipse arcs uh, using PyAutoCAD. Um, and you can also find this documentation by clicking the link in the video description, which will take you to our blog post. First thing I'm doing here, or the first thing that's being done here, is to import relevant methods from PyAutoCAD, which in this case is AutoCAD and APoint. We need those for creating an AutoCAD template and for creating an AutoCAD point. And we will also be using the math module in this example. So I import everything that's inside math. Then what's being done here is to create a new AutoCAD template. And then uh, we are creating two points here. The one point will be the center point of the ellipse. And the second point will represent uh, the endpoint of the greater radius of this ellipse. So if you look at it, an ellipse object, it has a smaller radius and a greater radius. Now, what I'm specifying here is the endpoint of that greater radius. So you can think of it as a vector in, the, in two dimensions. Um, the center point is located at x35. 35, and um, I will be using this point to specify a vector representing the greater radius of this ellipse. Now, the method uh, that I use, I'm calling on the uh, model uh, property of the uh, uh, new uh, AutoCAD template. Um, I use the add ellipse method, which has three properties the center point of the ellipse, the end point of the greater radius and then the ratio between the greater radius to the smaller radius. For example, here I'm calling this method. I'm handing over this so-called center point, which has the location x35, y35, and then the vector uh, away from the center point representing the greater radius has the coordinates x40, y35. So 40 into x direction and 35 into y direction. That is the, uh, you can say, a vector of this greater radius. Now the question is how big is the smaller radius and that is then derived from the ratio of the greater to the smaller radius. And so um, in this case we have ratio of 0 0.5 meaning that the smaller radius is half the size of the greater radius. And that is, that is the um, the ellipse being drawn uh, drawn here. We have another example, I think, down here, um, where uh, we are creating an uh, another ellipse. Um, so in this uh, AutoCAD template, we already have an ellipse uh, object, and now we're creating a new one using the add ellipse method. This one has its center point at 150, so uh, to the right and uh, to the north of the first ellipse center point. And it has a um, endpoint of the greater radius, which is uh, 150 to the x direction and uh, plus 50 to the y direction. So uh, this is the center point, and you can see the greater radius is 150 to the x direction and um, 50 to the y direction. And also here, the ratio between um, the smaller and the greater radius is 0.5. Uh, so the smaller radius is half the size of the greater radius. Um, now, what is shown in this example is that for this object, this ellipse object, you can modify some properties. For example, you can modify the start angle and the end angle of the ellipse. And this basically creates an arc out of the ellipse object. So by modifying the start and end angle, we can convert an ellipse object into an arc object. And that's exactly what's being done here. And there are some other uh, parameters that you can access. You can access the area, you can access the start point, the center point, the end point, 
um, the major radius, the minor radius, the major axis, the minor axis, the radius ratio. So all of these properties you can access and modify using Pi AutoCAD for this ellipse object. Now we also have an example here with an uh, elliptical arc. Uh, this was the arc uh, that we created uh, in this example uh, uh, by first creating an ellipse object and then modifying the ellipse object on, and turning it into an elliptical arc. Now also here we can have uh, properties that we can call for example, we can call the area. And in this case, since it's an arc, the area is then um, the area enclosed by the arc itself and then an implied line between the start and point. That's also what is shown here in this example. Um, we have a polyline here that is open and the area, if we access the area property, is the implied surface area um, um, considering this enclosed area by this implied line between the start and end point of the polyline. So that was a quick introduction to how you can add ellipses and ellipse, up, uh, ellipse arcs using PyAutoCAD um, for uh, AutoCAD optimization with Python. And you can also find this uh, coding example on our blog by clicking the link in the video description. And in um, other videos um, that will follow, we will look at other objects and also operations um, with uh, PyAutoCAD for, for um, uh, AutoCAD optimization.